King's Land has opened in the Imperium KVK. If you're as excited as I am, stick around. We're gonna be watching through exactly how this all goes down. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to another Rise of Kingdoms gameplay episode from your very own Shappy Gaming. We are back in the Imperium KVK, and I'm gonna start by answering the question that everyone is asking. Did 1079 make it to KVK in King's Land? And yes, as you can see on the top left, we made it to King's Land. The previous stream was all about, you know, can 1079 make it? And we did. And now here we are, we're recording it. And uh, let's see how everything is shaping up. As you can see, 1079 is actually trying a neat strategy here where we're trying to distract uh, Kingdom 1887 from behind and then we're gonna go build on the top left. So we've split our forces a little bit, but the goal is to kind of weaken the enemies and keep them fighting on two fronts so that we can actually build really, really quickly. Now, as you can see, we're just harassing marches down here from S where T over here is building. And so this King's Land is actually shaping up to be a 4v3, which is not what 1647 wanted. And uh, I am super, super excited. Now you may be wondering, Shappy, why aren't you recording? I didn't want to leak any of our markers or anything like that. So I wanted to be sure that you guys are seeing this after it all happens. And uh, hopefully you should see it all go down. As you can see, T is building down. And the goal here, I think, is really to start pushing out these other kingdoms as soon as possible. Realistically, I think that we should be in a really good spot. I'm kind of excited to see how this all goes down. Um, I think that we're, we're shaping up to, to have a really good KVK. I am right over here right now. And as you can see, I'm a little impoverished, which is okay. Um, but uh, we should be doing pretty well here. And I'm waiting to see what our goal is on the S side, because I think the plan is to kind of wait and then everyone will join T and then teleport in there. As you can see, people are starting to leave and then join T. And I think I may do the same. Uh, it does look like 42 bugged the pass apparently. So let's see how that worked out. I'm actually really curious. No, they didn't bug it. It works. Yeah, it's all fine. Oh, maybe they bug this one. No, they just didn't capture it. Wow. Okay, so 42 is only pushing through this bottom right pass, and 87 is pushing through here as well. The question is, it does look like 42 and 47 are pushing together as one, and 84 is gonna be the first to make contact, which I'm actually really excited about because I think 84 is probably our strongest kingdom that we're pushing forward with. So I'm really, really pumped about this. Um, I am, yeah, it looks like we're starting to, starting to TP in. So let's see if I can do some damage. TP over to T, send some marches through. Should be all right. Ooh, can't sneak there. Can I sneak there? Let's find out. Ooh, maybe. Oh my God, really? The dark fort really messed everything up, didn't it? Okay, nope. Hunting for TP spots with Shappy. Oh, great. Hmm. <laughs> Yeah, we could do that. We'll do it. We're gonna spend some gems. Live on stream, spending gems with Shappy. And uh, let's hop over to T, shall we? Quit Alliance and join T. And let's have the fun begin. So yeah, I have been recording this entire event on stream and this is quite possibly the craziest kvk i have ever been in in my entire time playing rise of kingdoms for all that time we thought that 1079 was not going to make it to king's land and uh let me actually show you guys what happened so as you can see um we occupied this level five pass and got into batafo which was the really big you know concern but the advantage here was that um 84 and 561 also got in and so what we did was we fort pass hopped so you see f79 there op79 here and then we pass hopped all the way up to this zone six where we're now building in from which is uh pretty crazy pretty crazy but we made it to zone six i'm super pumped and uh now we're just getting into some of the fighting so yeah we're building over here let's get my marches out pop some expansions i am Super excited. I've already slaughtered a couple of troops, which is to be expected. And let's rock and roll. So the question is, who will touch it first? Who's gonna touch the ziggurat first? Right here, 
We're trying to ball up here. I think that's a good call. And uh, T is building pretty quickly. 84 is building pretty quickly. And I think we're going to see a lot of action. I don't think this pass is... Yeah, this pass is not looking like much is going to happen here. It's weird. We're seeing some weird infighting. Oh, <laughs> 561. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, 561 is trying to distract this pass. They may end up getting it anyways, but I don't expect that we'll see a lot of building coming from MiG-42 here. Uh, yeah, they, they just have a small contingent. I honestly don't know why they would split their forces like they have, but that's okay. Um, I'm not complaining. And the question is, where is the first fighting going to start? It looks like it already has begun here. So we see 84 is already going to town with 1647. Hopefully we don't have a crash here. Um, but this is, this is insane. Look at how many marches are there. Look at how many marches are there. So I'm taking bets now in the comment section below. Who do you think is going to win this? And, and obviously don't say if you already know, but I think that we're going to win it. Uh, it's a 4v3 and I think 84 is probably on par with 1647. So I'm actually really excited to see how this goes. I think uh, 79 is probably going to be chilling. So 75 for a little while. I think uh, 561 is definitely going to be the first to, to go head to head with 42 and 87. Now, what I will be expecting is for 87 and 42 and 1647 to all try and push 84 at once. Um, that's what I would do. That would be the strategy I would go with if I were trying to do this as well. Uh, and I think it makes sense because if you can triple rally the, the big, the big cheese in the KVK, uh, you probably should. And so I'm actually really excited to see how this works out. Ooh, we have a random TP friendly or no friendly, not friendly. Uh, 14, actually 1484. That is friendly. Sweet. So for those of you that are just tuning in for the very first time, here's a little bit of background. So here's the KVK teams. We got 1484, we got 561, we got 1079, and we've got 2375 and 2260. 2260 did not make it to Kingsland, so it's a 4v3. Uh, and when this King, King KVK started, it was a uh, six Imperium KVK. So you'll hear me say a bunch of times, this was an Imperium KVK and it was. And uh, four of those kingdoms actually got knocked out. Now we're just left with 1647 and 1484. So this is absolutely insane. Um, it was it was touch and go for a little while <laughs> on the 1079 side. And I am uh, I'm thrilled to say that we made it and I, I'm pumped to see what happens next. So I think the plan is for 1079 and 561 to group up and push together. Uh, I do think this MiG-42 thing is a distraction. I, I don't think that they're going to cause many problems for us. And let's see. Apparently there's a clash. Ooh, we got two balls building up. 1887 and 561. 561 is already uh, king skilled there. So this is looking good. And this is where we're going we're gonna to crunch from behind. I, I, it all makes sense now. It all makes sense. Let's see. Do I have a big boost? No, all I have is this uh, these measly defense boost. So here we go. Oh man, they king skill too. And if they're smart, they will attack before we um, before we get there. But uh, we'll find out, won't we? And yeah, everyone on mobile is lagging right now. I am fortunately not. Yeah, 1887 is right there, and we're gonna come and cut from behind. <laughs> oh, 87 is about to have a bad day, I think. It's going to be a bad day for them. How far out are my marches? Oh, about 10 minutes out. So we're going to be uh we're going to be watching. But I think that 561 is going to win this fight. I don't think 87 is stronger than 561. Um I think the advantage of 1079 being put in the position that we were was that we drained, we single-handedly knocked 87 and 1842 out of Imperium. Uh, it was 1079 versus those two. We had a ton of battles, and uh, <laughs> I think I think the proof is in the pudding here. Uh, we knocked them out of Imperium, and we're still in Kingsland despite their best efforts. So uh, I'm excited to see what happens here. I'm very very excited, and uh, looks like some some good spices happened here. We got 84 already fighting on 47's territory. It's looking good. We're about to see uh, some flags come together. This is insane. This is actually crazy. I'm so excited. We're building over here, slowly but surely. I don't think we use skill, skillful craftsmen or anything. So, ooh, do I send some builder marches? I'll send some builder marches. 
get them over there. Help build a little bit. Um, while my other marches are taking their sweet time getting to the battlefield. Yep, we're going to king skill and we're cutting 87 from behind. Yep, I knew that was going to happen. And here is the beginning of the end for our enemies. I'm seeing a lot of 87, but I'm not <laughs> because 561 isn't marked as friendly. This is this is absolutely insane. This is nuts. Oh my god. So let's put some tunes on and let's have some fun. I am my mind is blown. But this is this is insane. So my plan is to record a bunch of this for you guys um, and I'll be adding in images at the end of how things progress. But for now, this is this is just territory on territory and it looks like 561 is actually gonna take this 42 pass, which is probably the right move, um, in my opinion. This is probably the right move. And we're slowly but surely making our way over there. Double check this 84, 47 showdown over here. WSA is building like crazy, but 84 is building the block right there and they're gonna be done before them. The question is, is there a rally on this flag? Oh no, they're not. They're gonna be done just about the same time. No rallies going yet? Doesn't look like it. This is all field fighting. This is, this is absolutely nuts, y'all. This is a battle for the ages. I am so excited to see how this all shakes out. Yeah, there we go. This is a bloodbath for 87. They should have all ran for Call Harold and Attila to Cape. <laughs> that would have worked out better for them, I think. But yeah, the big concern here is hitting allies, for sure. I'm waiting for the territory to start connecting. I think that's when things are gonna get really spicy. But the advantage that we do have is that we're, we have a little bit of insulation here, 1079, and this 84 fort does too. Whereas 47 is immediately coming under fire. 42 does have a little bit of insulation down here, and hopefully they're taking advantage of that. I think it's gonna be 561 and 1079 versus 47, and, or versus 42 and 87 ball here we're going for the 80 Ooh, we're going for the pass that's insane god my marches are taking forever to get there but i guess that's kind of how it goes now the thing i will point out here is 87 and 42 both lost their hurians and their monuments uh so they're going to be marching slower and they're not going to have the troop attack and defense buffs that we have uh which is actually really handy especially when you're talking about these big blowout battles like this as you can see, yeah, 87 is, is, is done here. 87 is done here. Our strategy worked. Sweet. That's what I'm talking about. And S is cutting off the 87 marches at the pass exactly like the strategy was supposed to be. Oh, I love it. That's what I was hoping. Look at all those sad face marches. <laughs> And harass marches trying to get through. That's what I'm talking about. So I started this whole thing, I was in S, and I decided I was gonna jump over to T for some of the fun. This is insane. S and N are at the pass, and 87 is just struggling. They're the struggle bus over here. Look at that. So our plan to, to kind of debilitate 87 has gone absolutely swimmingly. And now we're moving forward. We're gonna try and cut 87 off at the pass. This is, this is huge. This is really, really big. Now, it was only a matter of time before we got all of the, uh, the 42 people coming in here, which means that 84 and 47 are having a true showdown up here. Let's see, do we have any, any rallies on flags yet? Yep. WSA is burning already. Is 84? 84 is in good shape. This is what I love to see. See, the concern I have here for 47 is that they've kind of split themselves. Uh, and I think that was a mistake. Because you have them, you have some of them in 674U down here. And they're building, which is fine. But uh, they've got three different building sections, which I think was, I think was probably not the move. Um, yeah, they're just 
They don't even have people teleporting in on them. I think that was a mistake on their part. We'll see. We'll see. This is an exciting King's Land. And my Attila is finally going to get there. And it looks like 87 is in, is in poor shape. I'm seeing a lot of sad face marches. And the question is, is 561 pushing forward with us? No, we're cutting off 42. 42 is pushing for 561 and we're sitting there. Oh man. Stop you noobs. <laughs> yeah, Hoom is building quickly and they're gonna take this pass in no time. Yeah, we're gonna take this pass in no time. Man, if y'all are as excited as I am, be sure to leave a like on this video, share it with your friends so you can see this Imperium KVK showdown. Uh, I think we're gonna win this. Based upon what I'm seeing so far, I think we're gonna win this. I think field strategy, we're way stronger than them. They don't have king skill. These marches are all still in motion. I think this is a GG, guys. And how is my Nevsky going? Cool, can I build this? Okay, okay, I'm gonna chill out here. Help build the next flag. All these others are taking their time but uh, you guys probably want to see the fun. So yeah, we're cutting off 42 here. And 561 is coming down there. Oh my God, where is 42 marching to? They have all these marches in motion. They're not balling up or doing anything. They're just marching. Oh, are they trying? They're trying to build the MiG-42 forts or flags. Oh man, guys, that's a long walk for you. I would not have done that and we're cutting off all of those marches. That's absolutely insane. Mistakes were made, 42. Mistakes were definitely made. And then, I think 87's pass is in is in poor shape over here. Yeah, there <laughs> S is fighting back here. 87's not even getting marches into Kingsland. Wow, this is insane. Let's see, looks like we got a build marker. Let's get in there. Did I get in? I thought I got in. Maybe not. I did not. So we'll camp out. Nevsky can hang out here. We got our healing buff. Don't cross this node. Yeah, see, we're trying to make sure that we're separated from 561. Also, pro tip, if you have a march that you want to leave someplace, drop them in a node, because then when you click all three on the right side, uh, you can still drag forward and move the rest of your marches in the field. Uh, you can drop them in a node, you can drop them in a flag. It's really up to preference, but uh, it just makes it a little bit easier. If I were to camp them, I would end up with Nevsky all the way over here with a mixed march, which is probably not, probably not what I'm going for today. And it looks like we're trying to block 87 from flag building. That's what I'm seeing here. Yeah, 87's right there. 87's right there. Dang. I think this is this is gonna be spicy. This is looking great already, y'all. I am so excited. So 79 not only made it to King's Land, but we're also causing all sorts of trouble for him. Uh, question I have is what is 2375 gonna do? Um, they should be flagging. They should be like our, our insurance policy. They should have a bunch of territory and just be kind of hanging out. Um, at least that's the hope. My Antilla's finally made it to the battlefield and now we're gonna stop that that those builds. Are they trying to cut us off a little bit? No, those are allies. Oh yeah, this is great. But I think I think 1647's folly was expecting that 42 and 87 were gonna be in really good shape before coming into the zone. And uh, I do think fortunately we we drained them quite a bit. And uh, so it's it's paid off. Oh man, this is nuts. We are balling, 87's not getting any marches over here. It's not happening. Okay, okay, now we're seeing 87 get some traction here. I think what S is doing down there is really handy, but I think the problem is going to be that as soon as 87 starts getting territory here, we're gonna see a lot of those whales TP out 
and uh, and S is gonna have to join T, which is fine. I think we were prepared for that. So I'm not too worried. We could also do the trick where we sit directly on top of the flag. If you guys haven't done this before, it's a nice little trick. It makes it so they can't select the flag without attacking the march. There we go. And did we pop skillful? I don't think we pop skillful. Oh, we did. So we've got skillful craftsmen up. So in theory, this next flag should be done too. Yep. There we go. Go Nevsky, go. And we're taking our time. Don't cross this node marker is a little out of date. And there we go. We are we are blocking 87 like it's nobody's business. I love it. And 561 took this pass. Oof, one more pass for us, one less for them. That's what I love to see, Shappy Squad. This is ab absolutely insane. Um, let's see, how's 84 doing? 84 is going to town on 1647, guys. I'm seeing 84 marches all over these flags. 47 already has this mar this flag burning here. Ooh, it's not looking like a good day for them. It is not looking like a good day for them. And let's see how the Alliance powers shake up here. We've got uh, 10 million power in that one. And what is this one looking like? I think WSA, yeah, WSA is all the way up to 14 million power. But uh, the field presence isn't showing, guys. I'm, I'm seeing a different level of field presence from each kingdom, so I don't know. Yeah, this is this is unprecedented. This is insane. How's 42 doing? Are they getting anything out here? No. <laughs> 561 has blocked 1842 from building. Oh man, this is unreal. And I will call out the timings here because I think it's worth pointing out. Um, we are predominantly, our allies are predominantly Euro-American time zone. And so uh, right now it is 1605 UTC which means that it is about 11.05 um, uh, US time, whereas it is uh, like midnight, 12.05 in Asian time zones. And so this is really, really poor timing for them. Um, and it's showing, which I'm actually kind of thrilled about because what that means is they're gonna have people starting to go to bed soon. And that's gonna work out really well for us, I think. This this murder ball is just insane. I, I, there's, there's nothing to be done here. Let's have some fun, shall we? I can't see anything. My marches are gonna die instantly, but it'll be fun. How does one fight in this level of murder ball? The truth, you don't. You drag in and you drag out. Oh, there we go. Are we attacking something? It does look that way, doesn't it? Yeah, we're attacking that Nebu. Pull, 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 pull. Oh, there's a uh, Boudica right there. Let's see if we can do some damage to that. Is our goal of blocking 87 gonna work here? I don't know. Honestly, I don't know. All three of my marches are fighting. We're in this murder ball. I'm definitely gonna get wiped here. Yep, there goes one. See how Attila's doing. Attila's about to get Merc too. Oof, 79 is, is taking it rough here. We do see 561 coming with some field support. And we're sad faced. How did we trade? I think Attila's the one that's trading the best consecutively. Yeah, because he's got that swarm proofness. Let's see. Traded pretty good there. Yeah, we're just getting swarmed to hell. <laughs> but it's a murder ball, so what do you expect? Yeah. These reports are good, though. I'm liking them. Nevsky's building peacefully. And uh, we should be able to start TPing over shortly. Let's see if we got any teleports in the shop. No teleports in the shop. So I can't teleport unless I want to use some gems, which I already did, as you guys saw. But, uh, oh yeah. Yeah, we're gonna double rally these uh, these 87 marches. That's what we love to see. 
Let's accelerate this healing a little bit. We are in the thick of it, y'all. And I am pumped. Okay, let's use some of these you pick one chests that I have never touched. And some stone, there we go, and we're good to go. Someone gifted me 100 million gold and that is going to evaporate fairly quickly. Yeah, you can see we're we're showing up. And 79's not messing around. Is S still holding these guys back? No, it looks like S is taking some heat. The question is where? Where is S taking some heat? Because we're still burning flags down here. Yeah, no, they're not bothering us. I'm not seeing any S marches down here. Okay, well, let's see how our friends up top are doing. I saw, I think I saw WSA knocked out an 84 flag. Ooh. Oh. Does WSA, did WSA just swarm that 84 flag? They did. Oh, man. What? Oh. And WSA is building flag. That's the one problem with, with 47, is they are they are whales and they will swarm. Now I think territory wise, this alliance is at a major disadvantage because they just need to get cut off right there at that mountain hop, which you can then block with the city. Um, I, if I were them, I would be pushing more from 647U and GSA. I think that's probably safer. 42 is either not getting territory or my textures aren't, oh, they're not getting territory. We're seeing, who's down here? This is 23, 2375 is blocking 42. I would have set up that matchup. I think that's actually a fair fight. 2375 is still pretty fresh. Yeah, and 87 seems to have broken free from our murder balls. 1079 is refreshing hard. We've got a long, we've got a long march back. But uh, I think e even the fact that there there was this much anticipation going into this King's King's Land is uh, is pretty insane. Let's get Navski in here. I don't want to slow down the build. Boom. So let me know in the comment section, do you guys watch Chizkel's live stream of this? Uh, Cause I started watching that and then I was like, you know what, I need to make a video on this cause I've been streaming it all up until now. So I might as well, uh, might as well give you guys just a little bit of coverage, right? So yeah, 561 coming in hot here. I think they should clear those 87 marches, no problem. Uh, the issue is territory. I think that the problem is what we're seeing is that we're running back. It's, it's those long walks to and from the field, which you guys have heard me say over and over again. The more territory you have, the easier it's gonna be because you get those whales that can TP in, just rapid fire troops at you. But 87 and 42 are coming together here, which is gonna cause problems because we're gonna see double rallies now. Double rallies going forward. How's 84 doing? Ooh. Looks like the tables are starting to turn a little bit. We're seeing WSA split off and build down. I'm not seeing any 84 flags burning yet. Yeah, that's still good. We still have that one WSA flag burning, I think. Which one? It was up here. Man, they need to have a lot of garrisons. Yep, there we go. We got a rally coming in right now, contending. This flag's still on fire. That oh 84 has the field that Flavius is done. They're swarming with that Nevsky to get the uh, the swarm ability debuff. That's huge. That's actually huge. Wow, I'm excited. I'm so excited about this, guys. Wow, this is absolutely nuts. And as you can see, 84 lit that flag on fire. So WSA is burning. They're burning bad back here. Granted, it does take about an hour for these flags to burn. And so the advantage is you want to get as many flags on the field as possible because uh, you want to last. But again, I do think we're going to see time come in here and, and be a big problem. I think, I think time is going to cause a lot of issues for them. So we'll have to see. We'll have to see. 
I think time is gonna cause problems. But yeah, our whales are starting to TP in. This is looking good. And uh, 561 is about to be touching 87, I think. How are we doing down here? Let's see, let's see. 87 is building peacefully over there and 561 is going to town over here. Seeing some king skill, more king skill from 87 than from uh, 561 for sure. Hmm. But again, 42 lost this pass down here, which means 561 is going to be flagging like crazy. They're going to have a ton of territory. My marchers are still taking their sweet time getting home. Yeah, definitely not banking on getting the most kills in that zone. <laughs> it's not going to happen. But we are going to ball, and we're going to delay 647. Oh! So yeah, 647 is pushing straight for Zig here. Which makes sense, because, you know, they want to get to Zig first. But first to touch Zig doesn't always mean first to keep Zig. It's going to be harder to burn him off, for sure. But I think if we can cut him off at the pass, which is what 84 is clearly planning on doing, it's not going to matter. Is S starting to come in? I think S is starting to come in. Yeah, S, there we go. S is still going to town over here, cutting off those 87 marches. This is wicked. Really, really cool. Love what I'm seeing. Can Shappy TP? Maybe. Far away are they? Close enough. Chicken filet needs to move so I can TP in. I'm blocking the TP spots. Oh man, that barb fort's in the way. Well. Guess we're swiftly moving on. It's okay, this flag's about to be done too. Minute 46, TP up here. This is amazing. Oh man, I'm so excited. My only regret is killing all my troops earlier because I would be able to field like five, five marches now and I cannot, cannot field five marches. I'm stuck at three. But yeah, we're gonna be building forward and we're gonna meet this, uh, this G or the 674U. And they've got a lot of power in there right now. Yeah, I'm not sure I like how far 75 is. They're building south with us too though, so we may end up double rallying 74. Which is good, it's what we need. Chicken filet guy needs to move. TPN, patiently waiting for him to GTF out the way. There we go. Sweet, we're in. And now I can get Attila back out. Let's clear a hospital. 300k, oh my god. So many troops in the hospital already. Yeah, that's fine. It's what we prepare for, y'all. Do it. We're gonna have no shortage of TP spots, I don't think. There's our archer march, and I should bring Nevsky back and uh, maybe clear some of these forts. Got a bunch of forts in the way. Need 800k in there. Let's use um, T T4. See what we can do. And our main marches are out partying. That's what we love to see. This is insane. I don't know. I'm starting to get nervous, guys. I thought that we were shooing to win this pass, but now it's looking it's looking iffy. It's looking iffy. I'm not gonna lie. I think we'll still win, but uh, but I'm a little nervous. I'm I'm not gonna lie. I'm I'm definitely thinking this is gonna be closer than I was expecting. <laughs> We're 
flag it in. We're leaving room for 561, or for uh, 75 to come in and, and party with us. 561's going straight for 87, and 87 is flagging defensively. Looks like 87's actually controlling the field there. How are we doing against 42 here? 75, 75 is, is hustling. They're hustling, but 42 definitely has more bodies on the field. Definitely. I'm astonished at the turnout here. No burning WSA flags here. No 84 flags have been lit on fire yet. But I think they're, I think they're being smart here because they're building south. They're trying to get to that, to that zig before everyone else. 84 is doing it too. They're also flagging defensively. There's just so many areas that need to be garrisoned right now. But yeah, those WSA flags are burning. I don't really know that that matters much. They've got what, one, two. They've got two flag. They've got their double flagged, so they're they're flagging pretty safely. Question is, are they going? Is 84 going to be able to take that pass? I don't think so. Yeah, we're seeing a lot of 647U there getting settled in. I don't like that. Don't like what I'm seeing there. Am I getting anyone in my rally for this fort? No, that fort's not getting cleared. <laughs> it's not happening. That's fine. 561 is building. 87 has a lot of territory that they're putting down. I'm I'm really nervous, guys. I'm I'm not gonna lie. I'm I'm a little nervous. Like I think we're in a good good spot, but I I don't know. Oof. 47 just has a lot of power. Let's see how the alliance power shake up. 561 is in second, second alliance power. 42, yeah. T is eighth, but that's because we're split between T and S right now. Yeah, S is 11. 84 is split. 84 is split hard. I hope we don't regret that. 84 OF, where are they? Oh, that's, that's what's going on over there. 84 OG though is still going hard. I think it, I think it's gonna come down to like double rallies on these flags. Killing delay flags. <laughs> I don't like that idea. That's gonna hurt. <laughs> We're gonna end up with more sad face marches going home. That's okay. It's the last battles, so then I get to farm for six weeks. What I am liking here is 84 is holding their flags and they're burning WSA. We got another rally here. Is it a rally or is this is this just being swarmed? I think it's just being swarmed. I don't even know if it's potentially being swarmed. We can give people lots of deads. What's this? We got GSA. They're they're 47. So 47's got two alliances right behind each other. It's gonna be interesting. 84 destroyed. 47R What? Oh. I don't understand. Is there a second fort there? There must have been a second fort there. Oh, we're moving. Trying to trying to survey the field. Yeah, 47's got a lot of presence over at Zig. Not sure I like that. That's okay. 2375 is building quick. They're building really quick. They're building down here too. Yep. We're gonna be double rallying those flags in no time, I think. 561's coming down. Are they touching the 87 yet? Ooh, no, but they're about to be. They're about to be. We're gonna see a showdown. This is huge, guys. This 84-47 fight is, is nuts. 
Oh, we're seeing a rally on an 84 flag and it looks like it's burning. It's burning. Ooh. WSA is burning 84. Don't like it. Got another one. Got another rally coming. I don't know that that flag matters much, but I hate to see him lose it. Now nah, they're going to. There's a Zeno and that's a, a Henry. No chance. Yeah, they're just swarming that. Oh my lord. Wow. Is that rally going to go down? Or is the fork going to, or is the flag going to go down? Looks like flag's going down. Ooh, reinforced. Who will win? Let's find out. I'm back over here. Okay, I'm safe for now. Just wanted to make sure I wasn't putting my march to the bad spot. And, oof, looks like the rally's still going. That Henry's getting swarmed. That flag is not looking good. WSA just has so much field presence there. And that's the king. I think Hanky's king. Or, oh no, he's not. Oh man, y'all. I'm nervous. I'm a little nervous. Well, this is this is getting close. Oh, 87 destroyed S's flag. Where? Oh, S was trying to cut through the flags. Yeah, 47U, we're holding and delaying here, it looks like, is the plan. Whoa! What is this? 84 is pushing hard, and so is 47. 47U, they're going to try and double rally that 84 flag? Are they swarming this, or is there a rally? No, that's a straight up swarm. Special one, you have some cojones. Gotta have a rally. I'm sure they have a rally up on it. The problem with these um, with these quick build flags is you really can't get a rally up on them before they finish. So you have to swarm. This WSA flag's burning, but then I guess they'll repair soon. Oh, they're repairing. Yeah, see Chisco streaming. Oh man, this is insane. WSA is burning there too. They're burning at most contact points. Oh, oh, they took it out. 84 took it out. The question is, are they gonna take this one? They're gonna take this one out too. They are just straight up wailing out. How long till this finishes? Four minutes and 50 seconds. Now that, that flag's not finishing today. 47 is about to get triple coverage over here because they can't push any further here and we got 75 building oh this is this is getting interesting y'all what's 561 doing my guess is they've made contact now right Ooh, who's building here 87 80 no they're not making they're not gonna make contact oh here they are 87's getting some field presence. Where's 42? 422 is gonna try and build up, but the territory is really not in their favor here. Are they even able to build the next flag here? Yeah. That's like the only spot. That gold note is really bad. Oh, that's coming to us. <laughs> that's gonna hurt. This is nuts. Kingsland is shaping up. Here's your look. 
We're 44 minutes into Kingsland. Video is, is still still in motion here, and this is nuts. Wow. Oh, I'm getting attacked. Love it. This is looking, this is looking good. I'm nervous. I'm nervous that we're about to get trapped by 42 and 80 and uh, 47. Oh, king skill. Let's get rocking. And let's swarm that XY. Or better yet, let's swarm that Nevsky. Really don't want to just go diving into their, yeah, that's their plan. Have us dive in. I'm not doing it. Not today. I'm not, not gonna dive into your swarms. We'll kill that Nevsky though. Lovey. You're not too powerful. Need that. Pop the skill. Pop the skill. Okay, get back here. Sugar Prince. Goodbye. And the goal is to avoid getting targeted though. There's a Herald hiding in there. See, the thing is, people say that Sargon is not going to be good. I think when I see battles like this, I'm like, how can you say Sargon's not going to be good? Because you can't escape in a battle like this. And you have that debuff that's just melting that one march that you're attacking. I don't I don't know, guys. I think, I think Sargon's going to be the beast. Getting sucked in. This is, this is looking good. Oh, there's a Chiyokt over there. Oh, but that's 47. Ooh, getting hit with AoE. I need targeted something. Timmy, dude, what are you doing, man? <laughs> nope, gotta get out. I'm gonna get swarmed. What are they attacking? Timmy, dude's attacking something. Question to what? Lovey, you're getting munched. Too close. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Go. Get him. And Guan Alex is gone. Yep. Lovey's Lovey went bye-bye. That's what we love to see. Yeah, Timmy's still over there trying to cause mayhem. We're actually doing pretty well here. There's definitely more of them than us, but. I think we're doing all right. Yeah, let's get that salad in. Come on, don't chase him. I'm not doing anything to stop it. Someone's attacking me. Oh, Rose, no. She has max tech. I'm just gonna let that Guan get wrecked. No, I can't see the, the enemy attacking me. See, that's the problem here is I, I literally cannot see who's attacking me. I just know I'm being attacked. See, this is where those swarm proof marches are really helpful. Turn out home. Come on, it's Saladin Mehmed. Take that out. 
go Attila, let's go. And I think we're we're blocking pretty effectively. But their uh their what's it called is worn out. Oh Attila's done. Yep, Attila's gone. So is Nebu. They're they're both it's done. Marches are wiped. Oh, but we're still building down here. Oh, until he's not gone yet. Send him home. <laughs> Send him home. I don't want to take these extra these extra wounded if I don't have to. Oh, man, look look at these reports. I'm getting some nice AOE though from from Nabu. So here we go. Our first connections are starting down here. We got 80, 87 and 561. 561 looks to be in good shape. Kind of at a stalemate there. What's going on down here? 87's pushing, 561's holding. Okay. Ooh, what about up here? 84 is going to cut this flag, I think. That's going to hurt because all this WSA stuff is going to go away. You're going to have to push from GSA and, and 6470U. That's huge. That's a good cut. If they can cut this off too, that'll be huge. Oh, that flag's repairing. Yeah, that's going to be the best place for them to cut. 84 should still be in good, good, good spot. Because they've, they've got the double flag protection, so even if those two go, it doesn't really matter because they've got it from before. Yeah, we're holding pretty well. This is this King's Land is starting to shape up, y'all. It's starting to shape up. Fast build. It's not looking like a fast build. Looks like 42 is trying to stop us from building faster otherwise. Yeah, they're trying to slow us down. Use up our artisan's uh, progress or whatever it is. But we're building, we're building for safety here. This is TP space building. Good, we're double flagging up here. The advantage that we have is T's not getting cut. Neither is this. 561's not getting cut either. So we have much more insulation. The only one that really has insulation here is 42. 47 is actually most at risk of getting cut. Especially WSA, which is their biggest alliance. I don't like I don't like 42's building path. We'll see if it matters. Or 47's building path. I, I don't I don't think it's gonna work out well for him. I think they're they're at risk of getting cut. Oh man, 42's really trying to slow us. Oh, we're about to get double rallied, aren't we? We are. And we're about to get double rally here. Oh, it's going to be time to kill some troops. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, Doom destroyed a flag down here. Let's see? Oh, 87 was going to try and build in there. Nope. 87 is flagging really defensively. I really, guys, I do think this is going to become a this is going to become a time game. I think this is absolutely going to become a time game. Yeah, guys, this is this is absolutely insane. I'm I'm pumped to see how this shapes out guys. This is this is looking spicy. We're gonna have to start defending here. Really? Ooh, we got nothing good in here either. It's a fast build. I don't know guys. We're starting to get some TPs in here though, which is good. I'm still far from the field. I don't even know where we're 
yeah, let it burn. That's what I figured. Because they're just going to triple rally that. And we need to get um, 75 up here. 75 has to show up. I think they're getting some love up here. Yeah, 47. I think 47 splitting too much. I think it's going to hurt them. Because we're going to see WSA get cut. And they can't back flank here, I don't think. Yeah, 84 is just wrecking WSA. They shouldn't have split. Not the way they did. Because 84 can always fall back to 84 OG. I'm going to be pretty safe there either way. And I've also seen 84 have much stronger uptime uh, during the off hours than 47. We'll see though. This is Kingsland, so, so maybe it's going to be a different story. Ooh, K87. If they can, if 561 can push under here, they might be able to cut him. I think, yeah, whoever this is, this is 87, but it, oh, R87. They're built the most offensively of all of 87. We're not going to be able to cut them easily. Um, we will be able to burn them from behind, which is what S is doing. But, yeah, we're burning from behind. We may, are we going to thread the needle? Are we going to be able to get through there? No, no, we're not gonna be able to get through there. We're just burning for fun, looks like. They're uh, their little pearl necklace. <laughs> B for vengeance. Oop, they're starting to rally us. We're letting it, that's fine. Are we gonna double rally this though? No, we're, we're building defensively. Oh man, I don't even know where we're supposed to be going. Is there a ball up marker somewhere? Ball. Sweet. Should be able to ball up, no problem. Let's see. Attila. Go on. These are th three marches I'm fielding the day. And Nebu Gilga. And I am running Nebu Gilga because Nebu Gilga does not get swarmed as much. I've tested it now. Gilgamesh is a walking, talking target in the field, but Nebu is, is a little bit safer. It's more insulated, thankfully. Falling up. Hopefully we're okay. This is looking good, guys. I'm 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 really excited about this. We're letting that burn. Oof, 42. But they're they're out of skillful craftsmen, and we're about to start double rallying. Oh man! The thing that does give me some relief is that 84 is going pretty well over here. Yeah, these these WSA flags are burning like it's nobody's business. It's candlelit fire over here, and 84 is taking over the field. Question is, how are they doing at Zig? Because they're about to get double rallied here. They're doing, how big is this GSA flag? Oh no, that's WSA. So where is W? I wouldn't have built that far with WSA. Because they're literally banking on those two flags not burning. They have no other insurance policy. I guess they can pull those GSA flags, connect down there. I think, I think they messed up there. I think that's gonna cost them Kingsland. They definitely got the activity. We'll see, guys. This is this is spicy. Yeah, we're letting that burn, and then we're gonna finish building before them, and then I guess we're gonna take out that flag. At least that's oh no, we're not. They're gonna finish before us. Oh, Op just finished. Decided to burn a KL flag. Let's see that. Great. Love that for us. What is this? Oh, that's in, yeah, that's a back zone. That's not what we're looking at right here. 
and Grumpy's launching his first rallies. What are we rallying? XY Nevsky. That flag. Do I get in? Really can't afford any more debt right now. <laughs> At least not if I want to be in a used field. Let's get this guy. What are you doing, Conan? Mistakes are made, Conan. Mistakes are made, Conan. You're gonna get wrecked. It's me and Alex, we'll eat him too. Give him a little munch. I've seen the same names over and over. All the same whales. Just have to hope they're not sure to see my name. <laughs> That's the problem. Dewey Sama, where are you? You whale? No. Good. Not whale means not max tech, which means I can do some damage. Huey Huang. Yeah, I'm trying to pull me into your murder ball, I see you. But I'm not on mobile. It's not gonna work. Making me nervous. Uh oh, we're getting targeted. Let's play two marches. Too bad. Not anymore. Now it's more. It's it's far more than two marches. Go! Run! <laughs> it's around in time to eight. Mmm, that's what we love to see. Whales swarming us. What could be better? Okay, let's send Nebu can go in there. He can go home. These two can go back in the field. Do what we can do. Should be able to hit this XY, do a little bit of damage. We're we are engaging right now. This is this is happening. Three minutes till that's done. Ooh, a minute till that's done. Someone pulled troops out of there. Yikes. Oh, Patilla's about to have a bad day. So is Quan. Yep, someone's Tamira's got a hold of me. That Guan is done. That Guan is done. And Attila's equally is done. Okay, let's see how 84 is doing here. You right back, y'all.
And we're back. Looks like that WSA flag is still burning. We're in a good spot here. Oh man, how are we holding up? Is, is 1079 getting double rallied yet? Oh, nope, we're doing the double rallying. Let's see if we can get into one of these. Get into Gurge. Do it, Gurge. How far away? Am I too far away? Oh, it's 10 seconds. I think he'll wait for me. Yeah, that guy's also gonna make him wait. Oof, we're not filling rallies. I don't like that. Wonder why we're pushing 42. FML allies. <laughs> yes, don't hit allies. Okay, so 42 flag is burning there. F and P, these are allies. This is 75. 75 is pushing with us. Okay, how's 87 looking? 87 is kind of snooze fest. 561 pushing them in. 560. Oh, 561 should cut right here because they can't back flag. Maybe they, maybe they can back flag one flag, but that's a that's a good cut spot for that 87. So initial thoughts, we definitely have more territory up left, um, without a doubt, without a doubt. But it's the uh, This is spicy. I'm excited, guys. They're back flagging. 47 is back flagging down here. That's good. 84 has a couple of weak spots that I don't like. Right here. Can get busted up there. But we're building forward here, which is nice. This is 75 too, I believe. So this is good. Come on, I need these. We need to cut off WSA. If we can get WSA off, then we've got the win. That's the question. 47 is built really defensively down here. I don't like it. It's gonna be hard to cut them. Can't take the pass either. But I think everyone's artisans has run out too. Get my archers over here, though. Someone attacking my Attila? That's cute. Oh, did I cheese him? No, he just wrecked my day. <laughs> Completely. Did I even get into Gersh's rally? No, I think he's having home. <laughs> Oh, he sent everyone home. Dude, George is so out of troops. Yikes. Okay, we should be able to get in this time. Ow. They have some crazy field presence. But this is, this is becoming a flag pipe. And this is where I was worried about um, 1079. I was, I was worried about it because we held off the two imps for so long that we killed a lot of our main um, main account troops. And so this is this is where I was worried. We'll have to see. 561 flag here. They can. Oh, they can. They can flag here. They can flag there. Oof. Yeah. Our artisan's progress has run out. Artisan spirit but it's run out for sure because we just popped counteroffensive. Ooh. Yeah, we're not, we don't have the field here. And there's MX. If you guys missed the uh, the zeroing of Kraken, there he is. He's back up to 84 million power. Cannot believe it. it blows my mind. 
Yeah, we need to get we need to get the rest of S in here. We only have one alliance in here, and I'm I'm thinking that that might be hurting us. Maybe I should farm a little bit. I can clear some nodes. Make room for more teleports. Yeah, because S is down here. They're just hanging out. And all those people that they're not doing anything right now. Ah. Is there any S fighting? I'm nervous, y'all. I'm nervous. 561 seems to be burning 87, which is good, but 87 is stalling. They're stalling to push us. Oh, we got a flag rally. It's a Gilgamesh, what is that? Gilgamesh Nebu? Or Henry? <laughs> Gilgamesh Henry. Oh boy, are they gonna, they're gonna lose that flag. Damn. What are they doing down here? 87's burning. 87's burning here too. They're going for the pass. Which makes sense, because if they 87 has a flag protectively down. So if we can burn through these couple of flags, oh, now they are, now they're back. If we could burn through these couple of flags, we can get through. Oh, Echo's gonna eat them for breakfast. Let's see if I can get over there to reinforce that rally. But we have a field here, I think. Why would you do that? Why would you throw an XY rally right there? That's a mistake. I wouldn't do that. The reason I say that is because you're throwing an XY rally into a field you don't control. Oh, they, they're rallying a city. That's a city rally. You could get an Echoes rally. Go, go, Nebu, go. You can do it. Still sit, there we go, I'm in. I don't know how they're reinforcing so well. We have the field. <sighs> Echo just didn't get the bodies in that rally. Let's see, how'd we do? Yeah, we didn't trade too well. And what did they have in there? Did they have siege? No, they're all infantry. <laughs> and they're all mains, which is good. Yours just rallying down here. How we looking? Hopefully better than, no, not really. We're not getting the bodies in the rally. I hope this that's not our downfall. We need to be reinforcing these rallies. Yeah, we're not. We're not. Damn. That's the problem. Is we're trading evenly, but we're not reinforcing those rallies. Oof. So here's the battle from the 79 side. It looks rough. It looks rough. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna call a spade a spade. It's touch and go here. Um, let's see if I can get into Echo's Rally again. Kill some archers. Oof. I'm nervous. Yeah, 75 is carrying us here, guys. Look at that. Look at that 75 field coverage. We are low on bodies. Yeah, I think Z has T has a bunch of people in Z4. If we can, if we can, yeah, we should do all of them. Kick them all. <laughs> Kick them all and let S come in. We need the bodies. Ooh. 
Unfortunately, we're fighting 42. 47's burning here. That doesn't surprise me because they're they're trying to fight on too many fronts. They did this earlier. We in the previous zone, 42, 47 did the same thing where they tried to fight on too many fronts. They got overconfident. They're fighting 84. They're fighting 561. They're fighting us. They're fighting 2260. Too much. Let's see, speaking of 2260, are they doing anything? Yes, they're fording. 60's building a fort to try and, uh, try and stir some havoc, it looks like. Good. Love to see that. Wow. Ooh -wee. This is, uh... This is an interesting game we're playing right now. Oh, 60 destroyed something. Yeah, 60, 60's trying to cause a little bit of trouble. I like it. I like it, 60. Doing your work. Okay, we're repairing. Wow, 42 is everywhere. I'm surprised. It's late for them, it is 1 a.m. for them and they're still going strong. Yeah, I think S is, S is sitting around. I don't think they're, I don't think there's anything going on with them. Not their fault. I think just territory-wise, they, they, they don't have the ability to, to get in and help. Swarming rally, love swarming rallies. Wonder why we're going for that black instead of this one. Is this one already on fire? No, we should go for this one. Double rally. Oh, we can't. Not yet. Soon. Yeah, now we're into flag fighting. Everyone's everyone's artisan spirits out. So now is when it really gets exciting. Ooh, we got a repair going here. Oh, you say he's playing defense and the 84 is burning. Ooh. Nervous. I'm out of resources too. <laughs> 84 is burning them there, which is exact. You guys heard it here earlier. I said they're going to cut right there, that they didn't, that WSA did not build defensively, and that's exactly what they're doing. Fortunately, they're, they've got some insurance down here, so they're not going to get cut. Bummer. This is, this is going to be a long, drawn-out Kingsland, guys. Oh, we knocked it down. Burn, baby, burn. How, is, how are we doing against 87 over here? 561 is burning. Love it. Burning them. Burning them. Oh, they're building to burn. My rally's about to get swarmed. Love that. We're swarming with T4. That's not a good idea. And I think it's a Henry rally. Henry Nebu, yeah. That's that's not a rally to swarm. I guess. I guess if it works. Come on, take it out. That's a good juicy report, and this guy just swarmed. He must have a lot of resources. I think he actually does. 
But yeah, this is working out well because 75 is holding 42 back right at this crack. 42 is back flagging. That makes sense. I would back flag if I were them. God, 42 is so insured here. They're like, they're covered. <laughs> The one that I think we really need to get rid of is 87. Once 87 has gone, this bottom zone, we could just cut up north. I think that that has to be the strategy, right? Because I think 561 can take 87 in a fair fight. No problem. But I think that's why 87 has this lovely little necklace they built. <laughs> Here's the map as it sits right now. Wow. So 42 is burning, but they're pushing. They're pushing hard. They're pushing 75 now. 47 is back flagging. Of course, that's what they do best. <laughs> Honestly though, I think they're trying to buy time because 84 is going to town over here. This is, this is like the DMZ here. Demilitarized zone, nothing going on there. What's here? Oh, wow. Okay, WSA is back to burning. So is 84. Oh man. What about up here? Do we have a resolution to this fun, fun little battle? No. Not there. Oh. 84 is still burning. WSA is not. Taking the field there. We're cutting off 842, and our allies are going to take up top. That's beautiful. So we'd love to see. Can't touch that yet. We're touching everything that they built is burning. And 87 intentionally is not flagged here. <laughs> they don't want a triple rally. They don't want it. They don't want none of this smoke. one's burning down here. This is great. It's gonna be a sweet rally. Are they swarming? They're just swarming it. They just said screw it. Well done. <laughs> Admirable. Yeah, 87's going for 561's flags too. This is a showdown for the ages. So yeah, they're gonna try and thread the needle and get that cut right in here. I'm calling it. Oh, that hurts. That hurts real bad. Wait. Let's see if I can join some rallies. Oh, there are no rallies. Great. So we're just holding that. We're just holding the field. Forty-two is burning. We're double rallying. Looking good. Looking good. 
Okay, y'all, I think I'm gonna call it here. I will upload this for you all to watch. If you're wondering how the beginning of this King's Land has gone, you can expect upcoming updates depending how long this goes. I'll be either making posts or I will be making subsequent videos. Be sure to hit that subscribe button right over there, bottom right hand corner, hit the bell so you get notified when new episodes come out. This is the Imperium King's Land. I hope you're as pumped as I am. Shappy out.